Welcome to Creating Whimsical Masterpieces at Home with John Donato, brought to you by Freeman Stage. Today, we are working on the tissue box beaver. That's right, crazy little critter that's going to carry your tissues for you. Step one, let's go over the materials you'll need for this project. You should collect some paints, some paint brushes, a bowl for cleaning the paints, a rag maybe for cleaning the brushes, some markers, scissors, a hot glue gun, some hot glue sticks, pencil, and some cardboard. The sturdy kind that shipping boxes use. Step two, we are going to create the box that is going to go around the tissue box. So we're going to need to make four sides of cardboard to put around the sides of this box, and then we're going to hot glue them. So I'm going to use my tissue box, and I'm going to create a box slightly bigger than that tissue box. You're going to need about an eighth inch around, larger than the tissue box. Cut that out, and then replicate that three more times so you have four panels. And again, these should be slightly bigger than the tissue box itself. This way, we can easily fit the tissue box inside of it. So go ahead and make those. Once you have those, then we're going to start putting them together with the hot glue gun. And what we're going to do is create a four-walled square with those. Using the four walls, we are going to create a sleeve that will fit right over a square tissue box. So we're going to take our hot glue gun, and we are going to start assembling these by putting the corners together to create a hollow square. So go ahead and take your time. Parents, please work with your children using a hot glue gun. Safety first. Always want to be careful. Your children should not work alone with one of these. So go ahead and take your time to put that together. Step three, we are going to create the top of the box. So this would be the top of the lid of the box that we're making that would allow the tissues to come through. So use your box to sketch out the box top. Once you have the box top cut out, we are going to use the tab on the tissue box to scribe the shape that we're going to cut out of that box. This way it fits perfectly over our tissue box. Then we are going to hot glue that top right onto the box by running glue along the edge. I'm just going to trim a little bit of cardboard that I see hanging off the bottom there with my scissors. And a, little, a little extra. I'm going to trim that off. Step four, we're going to create the beaver character that's going to be holding this box, which is going to look like a crate. So we're going to take a piece of cardboard. We're going to put our box on top of it. This way we know how much space we need to clear the top of the box. And then I'm going to sketch in my character. Now I'm going to be sketching in a beaver, but you could do a squirrel or a dog or a cat or a giraffe, anything that you like. I'm going to show you how to sketch a beaver. I start with the nose and then I put two little round cheeks on it, followed by two teeth, a nice round head, round ears, little round eyes, and the pupils. I'm just going to mark those in right now, just so I know where they go. And then once you have this sketched in, whatever your animal is, we're going to want to cut that out, but you're going to want to leave the tab at the bottom, because that's what we're going to glue to the box. Step five, we are going to create the tennis sneakers that the beaver is going to be wearing. And you could put little paws if you want. I'm going to put some nice blue and white tennis sneakers. So I'm going to put my box there and see what the beaver is going to look like peeking out over the top. And I'm going to put my box down. And then I'm going to use that to sketch out two sneakers. And I'm going to glue to the bottom of the box. And then I'm going to cut those out. Those are going to fit just right at the bottom of the box. We'll paint them later. In step six, we're going to create the arms that are going to extend around the box that are holding the tissues. So again, I'm going to take my beaver with the tab, and I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to sketch out a nice long set of arms, because I want them to be able to reach around to the front of the box. 
And then I'm going to connect those and I'm going to cut that out. That looks pretty good. It's going to fit right on there just nice. And the hands will be able to reach around with the elbows extended out. The tail. So that would be the beaver's tail that's going to stick out from behind the beaver straight up into the air. But I'm going to put it on an angle. So I'm going to take another piece of cardboard. I'm going to put the body there and just to give myself a sense of how I want it to sit. And I'm going to sketch that out. And then you're going to want to cut that out. That looks like it'll be a pretty good fit, huh? Perfect. In step eight, we're going to start coloring all the parts of the beaver in the box. So you can grab your markers or your paints. I'm going to use paints because I think it's a little faster. So I have my bowl, my paint brushes, my rag, my paints. I'm going to put the tail down. And I'm going to use a brown for the tail. And then I'm going to actually paint some stripes in it with black to give it that texture, that sort of scaly texture that a beaver's tail has. Next, we're going to paint the arms. I'm going to start with orange, then maybe a little bit of red, and eventually I'm going to paint the hands, little white mittens I'm going to put on them. But for now, I'm going to get all the orange in. We'll put on the white later. Now we're going to paint the beaver himself. So I'm going to start with, say, some red and orange in the neck, and then I'm going to do a bright blue face, with maybe a green nose, white eyes, black pupils. So I'm going to work in my blues, put in the white in the eyes. I'll put the pupils back in after. I'm going to tone some things up with a white, maybe give them a little lighter cheeks. Then I'm going to put the white on the mittens, like I said before. Feel free to experiment with your colors. I'm going to put the green nose in, maybe some white dots for the whiskers. But have some fun with the colors. There are no wrong colors. In step nine, I'm going to create the crate that is going to be made from the box itself. And then I'm going to add black for some texturing and finishing. So I'm going to start with brown. And I put it in streaks on the box, sort of give it a grain. And then I'm going to grab some lighter colors so that I can make the wood look a little bit lighter. So I'm going to make it look like there's four planks with a, with a rim going around the top and bottom. So there I got my yellow in. And then some yellow to make it even brighter. I had orange and then yellow, that's what I used. So you just give it some texture. Play around with this. It's just paint. So while that's drying, I'm going to grab the beaver again. And I'm going to take my black paint. And I'm going to put the pupils back in. And I'm going to start outlining with thin outlines. The outside of all the nice blue parts and the eyes and the ears and the body. This is going to give him some real good contrast against the background. Then I'm going to work on my sneakers, so I'm putting little caps on the toes, little shoelaces. I'm going to go around the mittens, give them some sleeves. Have some fun. The black is a really great finishing color. Now I'm going to take my crate, and I'm going to actually put in the shaded lines between each board. This will give my uh, crate a lot more dimension and some contrast. I'm going to add little dots that make it look like there's nails in it. So it's going to give it a very interesting look when he's holding this. One great shortcut if you remove your water is to use a hair dryer to dry your paints, but you must remove the water first. So I'm going to take the crate because that has a lot of thick paint on it, and I'm going to use my hair dryer to help dry that. Then I'm going to put it to side, let it cure, and then I'm going to bring back the beaver, and I'm going to just touch him up a little bit. So I smeared some black on his teeth and his eyes. I'm going to add these little dots on his eyes, the little glow points, little glare on the nose, touch up the eyes a little bit. So now is a time where you can go back in with different colors and really accessorize your creature. A hair dryer to help it dry. And then I'm going to work on the shoes. So I'm going to put a little bit of white on the ends there, make them look like little rubber soles, add a little highlights to the laces, and I'm going to let those dry. 
let those dry, and then move on to step 10 once they are complete, which is assembling the beaver. We're going to want to take our parts, and I'm going to start with the box and the, the beaver itself. I'm going to put my arms in place. They look good. Put some hot glue there, and I'm going to glue those right to the back of the beaver, right there in position, just below the shoulders. Okay, That'll dry pretty fast. Then I'm going to put the box in place right in front of them. So I'm going to put a lot of hot glue on that tab, and I'm going to place the box on there with the tissues going side to side. Then I'm going to glue the hands to the box to make it look like he's holding it. And I'm going to leave the elbows sticking out. That gives them some nice dimension, a little three-dimension look. Next, we're going to put the sneakers on the beaver. So we're going to run a tab of glue right along the flat edge, and then we're going to stick that to the outside front of the box. Do not put it underneath the box, because that will keep you from being able to put a new box of tissues in there. So just stick them right out of the front. Let them dry, and they'll stay in place. And last, we're going to put the tail in place. So first I'm going to position the tail, then I'm going to put some hot glue on the back, put the tail on, flip them over, adjust them, and it's in place. So there you have the box. Everything's attached together. You have the hole at the bottom where we can actually slip a tissue box. Once we insert the box, then we can chest out the tissues. Looking pretty good. Let's try pulling some. Seems to work. And there you have it your tissue box beaver. Now that is a fun tissue box container. I take, take this time to thank Freeman Stage for bringing creative whimsical masterpieces at home with John Donato. If you enjoyed our video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friends. For now, stay creative and have a great day.